Hello everybody, today is a very big and special day. As you can see by the title of this video, yes, today is Game 2 of the 2022 Stanley Cup Final, which is between the Western Conference champion, Colorado Avalanche, which is my team, since you've seen a lot of my sport videos, I've been making a lot of live goal videos of the Colorado Avalanche, so that's how you can tell that I'm a huge Avalanche fan. And as for the Eastern Conference champion, not a surprise, the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is their third Stanley Cup Final appearance for the past two years, two seasons. It's incredible. The Lightning are very strong, and their, their whole crew is just outstanding. But I want the Avalanche to defeat them in, like, a four-game drought. I want the Avalanche to win the Stanley Cup. But... Let's not worry about that, and I'm going to be lighting up, I think, five metal halide bulbs for today's video. And they're all going to be representing the Colorado Avalanche logo, even though I don't actually have the logo myself. It's just the colors that represent the Avalanche. So without further ado, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get started and see what lamps are going to be turned on for Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Avalanche and Lightning. So the first lamp is my Yushio Color Light Blue Metal Halide Bulb. This one's 175 watts. This I've had since October of 2020. The second lamp is my Plus Right 175 watt 20,000K Aquarium Metal Halide Lamp. This I've had since De uh, December 25th, 2020. Very long time. The third lamp I'm turning on is my custom Sea Life 175 watt 10,000 K aquarium metal halide bulb. This is also considered blue since this lamp, this lamp, and this lamp too also all emit blue and that um, represents the avalanche. And speaking of blue, you can see some LED light strips on my door frame um, showing and emitting blue. So there you go. The second to final lamp is this Optimark 250 watt daylight white pulse start or probe start metal halide bulb. This works on both probe and pulse start magnetic ballasts. And this emits daylight white when at full brightness. So this definitely represents the Colorado Avalanche for sure. And then finally, the big one. This is my magenta metal halide bulb made by Plusrite. It is rated 400 watts and I've had this since October of 2020. I haven't powered this bulb up in a long time. So I really hope it doesn't have many issues. And sorry for all that various flickering on the camera. I cannot um, control that, unfortunately. These are just all my dome lights and whatnot. So, yep, those are all of the lamps that are going to be turned on. And also, there are two things to note about this video. It's going to be special. This Spy Kenzie Labs Biggie Kit display is going to be flashing a number two on the display to represent what game it is what game is playing tonight, which is, which is of course game two of the Stanley Cup final. So it's going to be flashing a number two at 60 beats a minute. You can adjust the speed on this display like I showed you in my tutorial video back in November of 2021. And another thing to note, this is my portable CE electronics elevator display. And that is gonna be displaying a number two emitted in blue. So this is gonna be quite a show if you ask me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flick on all of these lamps, shall we? But before we do that, I have to flick off the power and then flick this switch and make sure it doesn't connect to the contact. I have to flick on this switch here, which turns on these three fixtures. And then I have to flick on this switch, which turns on these two fixtures. And also while I'm at it, I'm gonna grab my ball bearing and I'm pretty sure we're ready to go now. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and drop the ball to start off game two of the Stanley Cup final between the Avalanche and Lightning. So I bet the Avalanche are going to win this game. Okay, enough of me talking, here we go.
That lamp's flickering. It usually does that sometimes. You can see some other metal halide bulbs. I took those ones out temporarily just for the purpose of this video. I actually took them out just so I can make this video, so that's why I did that. I'll put them back in after this video is finished. Some of my lamps are reaching full brightness. That's my clock. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful start. Oh, that was awesome. That was actually a bit of lithium and sodium vaporizing in the arc tube of my magenta metal halide bulb. You can see the arc tube up close. Look at that beauty. Wow. That is beautiful. All right, let me go ahead and zoom back out so you can see the other lamps turn on. You can see my Spy Kenzie Labs flashing the number two and my CE display. While I'm at it, I'm gonna remove this display from the shelf so I don't loosen the connections. And also while I'm at it, I'm going to take this off so it doesn't tip and fall over. This thing is actually quite heavy. Put that there and we'll, I guess we'll flick off the power after I test out the arrows. There we go. Look at these lamps. Aren't they just beautiful? This definitely represents the avalanche. Well, except for, not for right now though, because this lamp still needs to reach its full brightness level. Look at that. And I haven't turned on, like I said in earlier in the video, I haven't turned on my plus right 400 watt magenta metal halide lamp. So therefore, that's its first time turning on in several months. And so far there weren't any issues when it turned on. So I'm actually really satisfied of how it came out. Let me give you a close up view of the lamps. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right, and I think that just does it. I'm pretty sure all of my lamps are at full brightness. So anyways, um, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video of my HID, my metal halide, colored metal halide lamps turning on for game two of the Stanley Cup final. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And with no more to say, um, anyways, I just wanted to say, uh, Never mind of what I just said earlier. My bad. But, um, yeah. Anyways, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching. And let's go Avalanche.